YouTube, YouTube. So you want to put a custom ringtone on your iPhone and you just know it's a pain because you normally have to use a computer. Not with these two apps. You might know of this already. I've been trying and testing a few different ways, but without a computer, really easy. It seems long-winded at first, but once you've done it a couple of times, it becomes really easy and you can do it within seconds. I've tried and tested a few different ringtone apps out. This is the best one. Well, this is the one with the most variety on there, should we say, and they're all set to around the right time anyway. GarageBand, if you haven't got GarageBand already, um, it's free in the App Store. Links will be in the description to both these apps. Let's get on with the video. Let's open the Ringtones app. Then at the top, let's hit Catalog. And then from Catalog, you can see at the bottom we've got Search. You can search for anything you want, or you've got Categories. Or you can use the top ringtones here, which are popular, newest ringtones of the week, summer hits, etc. So I'm going to go search, and just because no one can deny it's a brilliant film, I'm going to search Deadpool. I did do this before. So as you can see, you can play them right in here. They're all rated out of five stars. There's there's too many to choose from so I'm just going to stick with Deadpool for the now just to show you for the purposes of this video so okay let's go on with it you can just tap play listen to it in there otherwise just tap anywhere on it at all and it brings up this little side menu hit the down arrow to download and then at the bottom right you can see it's saved into my tones so if we go there as you can see I did one before so but 27 seconds, 39 seconds. Me 39 seconds one was a little bit too long before, but it adjusts it for you as you're putting it in. It's not a problem. So all we want to do now is tap on it absolutely anywhere and send in email. Okay, so just basically send it yourself in an email. Simple as that. You'll see the little waveform there. It says Deadpool. Hit send. Then go to your emails. Then you'll see it looks like this. One says video, one says text. Comes up slightly different depending which email you're using. I'm using Gmail. Then all you want to do is tap, just stop it playing. So it opens and starts playing. As you can see in the top right, there's a upload arrow. Just tap that. And then where it says save to files. And then you've got iCloud Drive. Send to iCloud Drive. And then I don't bother selecting any of the files there, I just hit add straight away in the top right. Okay, so it looks like I've gone and selected the same one that I used before. Not a problem, so you hit replace. So there you go, it's added it. So we come out and now we want to see, once you get the hang of it, it, it takes seconds, you're only emailing it to yourself, and then open GarageBand. Once GarageBand is open, we hit continue. If you've already set all this up, it's not a problem. Then you just hit use GarageBand at the bottom. Then all we want to do is live loops and in the bottom right it says new if you've already got garage band and you've used it before you'll know that in my songs you'll be somewhere around here and you just hit the plus in the top left and create new song and then new in the bottom right and we're open then all we want to do is the little loop in the top right next to the settings cog we just tap that loop and then at the top, you see where it says audio files. We go there and at the bottom, import from iCloud Drive. Tap that. And there's our sample, our ringtone. Then literally just tap and hold on it with your finger and drag it up. When it lets me do it. There you go, then it'll just send you back to there for some reason, I don't know why, then hit done again. And as you can see, we've got our ringtone there in the form of a loop. What we're gonna do is record as much of it as we want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the play button at the top, followed by the record button, and then we're just gonna stop it recording and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so once you've stopped it recording, you've got a plus 
a little small plus on the far right. You just tap on that and then tap here, turn automatic off and set this to 15, then hit done. Then from here, just your little arrow on the bottom on the top left, my songs, and then select in the top right, uh, select your song, and then the arrow in the top left, and then you want to hit ringtone. And obviously your ringtone length needs to be adjusted. I'm purpose of the video, you can record as much as you want, play about with it, play about with Garage Band and get the exact part of the song you want. So then just hit continue. You can rename it here. I'll just call it pool, just for the purpose of the video. Hit done, hit export. Hit okay. And that's it, it's in your ringtones. So let's go over to settings. So over to settings. Then down till you see sounds and harp ticks, or just sounds depending on which device you're on and then ringtones here at the top now as you see it and you can see I've got iPool selected which I did before and pool which is the one we have just done play about with it once you've done it a couple of times you can put loads of custom ringtones on there and get rid of all the standard Apple boring ones that they don't tend to let you change okay hope you enjoyed the video leave me a thumbs up and remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, you must be. Crazy mother...